Northeastern India is one of the three mega diversity hotspots in the country. The region is referred to as the cradle of flowering plants. It is also endowed with rich mineral, oil reserve and a web of rivers. The area is geographically nestled in one of the most biodiversity rich regions of the world. The region is not a homogeneous entity but a highly diverse mosaic of ecological, social and physiological landscapes. To bring prosperity to the region, there is need of intense analysis and attention as well as systematic intervention of science and technology. To cater to these requirements and necessities, IASST, Institute of Advanced Study in Science and Technology, was conceived and brought to life on November 3, 1979. Inaugurated by Nobel Laureate Dorothy C. Hodgkin, it now comes under the Ministry of Science and Technology, Government of India and enjoys an autonomous status as an R&D Institute. IASST was the brainchild of a few visionary academicians who wanted to create a place for the motivated minds of the region to initiate advanced research in science. The main philosophy of uh, this institute is to spread awareness of science in the region so that you get scientific manpower for doing scientific research and for developing uh, technology which can bring economic development of the region. We initially planned actually to have an interdisciplinary research institute on uh, resources of Assam. We thought that we should have a society and see how we can develop science, education and research in this part of the country. Way back in 1953, the Assam Science Society made a humble beginning as a Gohati Science Society. In fact, it was the first institution in Assam to provide training in computer science and technology. We set up this center would be fun with the grant of Department of Electronics and Government of Assam. I think that the scientists now have the vision. They know that this is the right path and new entrants are also there. I am very happy that the institute has been completely taken over by the central government. Today, IASST proudly houses 19 scientists out of a total sanctioned strength of 26 scientists, 62 research scholars and 4 postdoctoral researchers who returned from abroad under various government programs such as Inspire Faculty, Ramalinga Swami Fellowship and Ramanujan Fellowship. The important thing in science is not so much to obtain new facts as to discover new ways of thinking about them. The five major research programs of the institute are Basic and Applied Plasma Physics Advanced Material Sciences Mathematical and Computational Sciences Biodiversity and Ecosystem Research and Traditional Knowledge-Based Drug Development and Delivery Plasma program at IASST includes basic plasma research as well as plasma-based material development research for technological applications. And in plasma polymerization of bill metal, we had got one patent recently and then we are, we are applying for another patent of uh, Moga silk suture which was drafted by plasmas and these were also under process. In uh, application part, uh, we have developed some uh, uh, ultraviolet, ultraviolet uh, photo detectors, as well as uh, we are using uh, plasma nanotechnology for uh, solar cell development. Research on polymer and advanced material sciences includes work on liquid crystalline polymer, polymer nanocomposites, 
with special emphasis on fabrication of prototype sensor devices is being realized. We have actually patented one such polyelectron sensor and we are also applied for few patents in different subjects including gels and these uh, sensors. Main objective and aim of our laboratory is to develop comprehensive uh, bottom-up nanofabrication uh, technology for uh, fabricating useful nano devices for uh, energy, health, pharmaceutical and diagnostic applications. The research group is actively engaged in updating their knowledge on different topics of mathematics, statistics and computer science, leading to the investigations and further contribution to the development of knowledge in respective areas of research. Our innovations in stochastic process, self-memorialize, image processing, etc. have been recognized by the different scientists from other institutes and our citizens have also increased. Research area under this program focuses on few selected life forms as component of biodiversity mostly in selected pockets of northeast Indian part of Indo-Burma biodiversity hotspots. So far, in more than 35 wetlands, we have worked in Assam and we have explored the biodiversity. And 120 species has been re-recorded. And now we are trying to do the molecular phylogeny of these fish species. We uh, applied our bioseffect and we achieved that uh, it can be used for control of that plant pathogenic fungus. We are concentrating on the micros present in the northeast of India in different forest areas, different uh, uh, environments. So we are collecting samples from those areas and making a metagenic DNA bank. Here we are exploring mainly microbial strains from different protected forest areas of Assam, from different wildlife sensories, for the production of antimicrobial compounds and mainly antibiotics, novel antibiotics. An indoor rearing technique of Muga silk worm and quality parameters for checking adulteration of Muga silk have been developed in lab conditions. IASST is carrying out research for scientific validation of the medicinal plants. Formulation for treatment of metabolic disorders such as diabetes and cancer. We are synthesizing the molecules and we have already synthesized 20 molecules and out of this 21 molecule is showing very excellent result and we are very much hopeful that we will get something very good out of this. Nature composes some of her loveliest poems for the microscope and the telescope. Central Instrumentation Facility CIF at the IASST is a state-of-the-art laboratory facility set up to meet the growing demands of the researchers at IASST. Scanning electron microscope, liquid chromatograph with mass spectrometer, DNA sequencer, atomic force microscope, Fourier transform infrared spectroscope, fluorescence microscope. The Knowledge Resource Center, KRC of IASST, is equipped with its rich specialized knowledge-based resources and offers services to the faculty members, research scholars and staff of the institute. Its collection is strong in the areas of physical sciences, life sciences and instrumentation sciences. The KRC participates in interlibrary networking activities and has a good rapport with the libraries, KRC in the city as well as outside.
IASST's Animal House is situated within the premises for use in preclinical testing of effect of extracts of herbal formulation, medicinal herbs and also in silico designed synthetic drugs on metabolic syndrome induced in animal models. In the Medicinal Plant Conservatory of IASST, the medicinal plants used in various experiments for scientific validation are planted, multiplied and maintained. More than 1,000 saplings of valuable medicinal plants are planted inside the campus. If we wish to make a new world, we have the material ready. The hostel come guest house of IASST, named as Student and Scientist's Home or SSH, is located within the institute campus. SSH was inaugurated by Dr. T. Ramasamy, former secretary, DST, Government of India on September 19, 2013 and dedicated to the Nobel Laureate Professor Dorothy Hodgkin. Each border is facilitated with a well-furnished spacious room with attached bathroom and balcony. The common room includes TV and facilities for indoor games. Clean and hygienic fine dining area ensures wellness of health for every individual. Scientific principles are hidden and must be wrested from nature by an active and elaborate technique of inquiry. One of the most important objectives of IASST is to promote awareness of science in the region. For this purpose, it organizes workshops and seminars regularly at IASST. And the workshops and seminars in IASST delve into just those very facts. IASST organizes seminars, both national and international, and researchers of the institute interact with national and international scientists in specific fields and contribute to overall advancement of science as a whole. Every year, the institute organizes and celebrates Foundation Day, Vigilance Week, Hindi Divas, World Environment Day and a few annual events. These activities create intellectually vibrant and stimulatory environment all the year round. During 2014 and 2015, the Institute organized International Conference on Disease Biology and Therapeutics ICDBT, and three national seminars and workshops on basic and applied aspects of low volume material such as nanoparticles of inorganic and organic substances. Scientists from France, Japan, Australia, USA, UK and South Africa participated in these events. Its scientists have research collaborations with 17 institutes in the country. The institute has received a grant of an Indian patent and filed seven new patents during the year 2014. We would definitely expect as a well-wisher that it goes more and more, it becomes a very good, one of the best institute of India. Reason, observation, and experience, the three pillars of science are found here. IASST is waiting to tell us all that the universe is full of magical things, patiently waiting for our wits to grow sharper.